Welcome back everybody to Planet Chinchilla. Sorry for the the long break we've had in the video production here lately um, with everything going on with this pandemic and just the, the state of the world right now. Things have been a little bit crazy, but we are back. Uh, we will be back to doing one video per week now. And today's video is specifically going to be covering play pins uh, for your chinchilla. Specifically the play pin that I use, the play pin that I recommend, and a couple other secondary options that you do have when searching for a play pin for your chinchilla, um, which makes everything just way easier when it comes to not proofing a room or in the beginning when you first adopt them, being able to get them out of the cage more with more confidence and without worrying so much that they're going to run off. So stick around for just a minute and we will be right back with those details and I will break down the playpen that I use for my chinchilla. Real quick guys, before we get fully into this video on the best playpens for your chinchilla, make sure you guys hit that notification bell, like and subscribe to these videos if you haven't already. And we are back. The pandemic did set us back a little bit to where we stopped producing videos for a while, but we will be back with multiple videos per week now. So make sure you guys get in on it, hit that button below, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. And now let's dive into the video on these play pins. Okay guys, as promised, I wanted to take the time today to do a quick video about the play pin that I use. It seems to be a becoming a little bit more popular as an option for people who are just adopting a chinchilla as a viable space for these guys to play safely or you know if you don't have a room in your house that you can proof easily these make a lot of sense so the play pen that i am specifically using is the jess pet the 45 by 61 um, it is by far the best one that I think that you can get when it comes to size. There are several that are similar on Amazon, but let me give you a little bit of a, an idea here. I took this top off and it is a little bit dirty in there right now, guys, because I just used it this morning for her. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, her cage used to actually be right there on that wall. And then I will show you here in a bit where we moved it, but she is now upstairs because I moved my working desk. So I wanted to keep her next to me and I brought her up near a nice big window where she gets more natural light. But anyways, if you're wondering why the, the play pin is dirty, it's because she was just in it for quite a while here before I shot this video. And since I was doing a review, I wanted to be able to open these doors or the, the zip up entryways and the top so i didn't want her to be in here for the actual review but again this is the jess pet 45 by 61 and i have had this for man oh, over four years and it has no issues so i actually undid this top here just so that i could show you the inside easily this just goes right over the top so if you want this to be fully enclosed you can easily just zip it all the way around still works flawlessly no problem there i just fold it over whenever i want to make a video or whenever i want easy entry or if i just want to be able to clean it up in there next you have you have two of these doors so this just unzips again four years later these zippers are still working flawlessly and then you have the one on the other side sizing wise height wise even being at the 42 or the 45 inches, I'm sorry, this comes up to a little bit above my waist. Now you have two other play pins that if you go to my post on planetchinchilla.com that I recommend in that post. One is the ESK and then the other one is the Zampa portable play pin. They're basically the same thing as this, but they are smaller. So people probably wonder why this is the playpen I always recommend and it's because you're getting that height and the width out of it. So if I were to climb in here, which I will here, now I'm on the inside. I don't even put the, the top on this guys. She doesn't jump out of it. Maybe she could, but I've been using her for four years and she never has. But when so when you're talking about size with these playpens, you got to realize that even though it, it's big enough 
for the chinchilla clearly um, and based on other videos you've probably seen online that that's plenty big enough but I like the ability to be able to get inside of here especially if you like to interact closely with your chinchilla some people do some people don't completely up to you but this is going to help build the trust a lot faster with the new chinchilla owners out there because the your new chinchilla doesn't have that room to just not pay attention to you so if i go in there and i'm sitting indian style or whatever the case may be she's going to be jumping on me you know within a few minutes and after a couple weeks of doing that they're going to have a lot more trust for you much faster which is going to help with everything else like getting them used to being held getting them used to getting in and out of the cage which a cool tip with these play pins too is the mesh door on either side so like on this side here you can back a lot of the cages you can back this door right up to the cage door so that they can get in and out if you're worried about them getting out in a room like exhibit a here i've got the exposed white cord there so chinchilla proofing failure um, right out of the gates so that's important to keep in mind too as far as durability with these guys i can fold this up no problem lift it it's lightweight and like i said i've moved houses i've had this for almost four years now sorry it kind of collapsed on me a little bit there no issues with this whatsoever just used it this morning i think these run for the biggest size they offer 71 bucks um but you do have like i said you have the esk and just type that into Amazon ESK playpen and you'll be able to find it. And I'll also put the links to all three of these in order in the description below. So if you're looking for this one, which again is the Jess Pet 45 by 61 link will be in the description below the video so that you can check it out yourself. The ESK would be ranked my second best playpen for these guys. And then the Zampa portable would be the third. Some other key tips that you want to keep in mind whenever you're looking for these play pins in case you go on your own little journey to decide which one you want is they need to be breathable. So this clearly checks that box because it has, you know, the mesh siding and the mesh doors there that allow plenty of airflow. And you want it to be tall enough that's bigger than some people make that out to be. So let me back up a little bit here. I mean, by no means is it super tall, but it's a good size playpen to be able to get inside of. I've sat in here with myself, my wife, and my son with the chinchilla, all interacting. I mean, it is a little crowded, don't get me wrong, but think about that if you got a smaller one. I mean, you, it wouldn't even be possible at that point. So you want to be able to move around. You want to be able to interact with your chinchilla. And like I said, I removed everything from in here. So this is just a bare playpen i really wanted you to just be able to see the sizing what these look like and what you get from them i didn't want you to have to not be able to see what you're actually getting so that you can see what you would do with it so you could put you know any of the tunnels ledges you know the a chinchilla play like the towers any of that you can put right in here i have her take her dust bath in here sometimes if i don't want to remove the cords for any of these lights and then this bottom piece, I don't know if you guys can see how good you can see this black um, outline here, but that unzips as well. So if you want to just wash it down, clean it up, cleans really easy. I typically just wipe it down with hot water and then vacuum up or sweep up everything else inside of it. Another thing to note too, for if you're a new chinchilla owner, looking at these play pins is you have to realize a few of the other benefits this offers. First, we've already talked about it a little bit, but the chinchilla proofing. So if I were to walk through the room that I'm in right now, so this would be okay, no outlets. You don't want any of the cords out. You probably, like this plastic tupper or bucket here with some of the workout equipment in it, my kids' toys, these are already like no-nos. Maybe it would never be a big issue, plus this door is open, which leads to the air conditioning unit, the laundry, everything else down here. So already, if I wanted to use this room for her, we've already failed. 
and I would have to actually move some things around to use it. Now, the funny part of that story is I do use this room, but because I just moved her upstairs, I need to reproof basically. We just did a bunch of work down here. We actually got a little bit of water in the basement. So that threw things off to where we had to rearrange, but we will get back to it. But the, the playpen is going to remove that need in the beginning to have to proof everything perfectly. They do come in several colors, so you can get these in pink, brown, and blue, I believe, for the Jess Pet 45 by 61 But in general, these are just huge, huge beneficial helps whenever you have a new chinchilla. It's going to increase the bonding. It's going to keep them safe. They're not going to be able to escape on you or run off somewhere in the house. You're going to grow a relationship with them much faster, be able to learn how to hold them correctly, it's just a huge benefit and even if you don't need the chinchilla proofing side of things i still recommend getting one of these i don't think a chinchilla owner should not have one even if you go with something like the zampa portable no big deal if you just want the small one to put them in if you if need be but this is just should be you know a necessary requirement whenever you adopt a chinchilla it comes in handy too often if you want to take pictures if you want a kid to be able to interact with them and learn how to handle them, whatever the case may be. If you just need to reorganize rooms in your house and have somewhere to keep them so they can get out of the cage for a day, boom, there you go. But yeah, overall, these things are awesome. Again, I recommend the Jess Pet 45 by 61. That is this guy here. I don't think you'd be disappointed in it. Again, just use the links in the description below if you guys need to go check them out for yourself. And that's really it. That's all I got for you guys when it comes to these playpens, play which the link will be in the description below for you guys. I appreciate you guys hanging in there through the lack of video production. But like I said, we are back and we do appreciate you stopping by today. Next video will have Chili back in it. Like I said, we're doing some rearranging, changing some things up with her. Just bought her, redoing her whole cage, a lot of stuff going on. So there will be videos. She will be in them going forward. I just didn't want her to get in the way of this review of this playpen for you so you could see it in detail. But we appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.